Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is Stefan, hello. And this is Per. Yes, uh, Oglunda Sutarn. Yeah, okay. From Sweden. Okay. I'm Sweden uh, on vacations now and I visited Per. And uh, we are working on this, uh, or he is working on this uh, circuit, the uh, circuit from uh, Professor um, Dr. Jones. And uh, we just changed it to this configuration. Um, we have here three coils on this core. This is the core. Okay. And um, one is a special output, or not, not a special, but just a third coil goes to a bridge rectifier and feeds the pulses back to the scope. And um, at the output we just have these 10 mm LED running and this is the circuit over here and um, let's see, let's connect a um, let's connect a scope and these are the pulses uh, about um, two microseconds uh, uh, for one waveform so it's about uh, 500 kilohertz and um, this is now the battery voltage let's see I feed back the battery voltage directly um, to the um, let's see we can take it from over here um, directly See. Oops. Um, okay. And this is now the battery voltage I put it on. A, it's it's on DC and uh, we have it put on one volt per diff. So you see, it's uh, the base voltage was about 1.4 volts and it's already climbing. And these spikes are fed back to the battery voltage which is about in this line you see here's the ground line and this is a DC setting on the scope and we have all these spikes here which recharge the battery and um, the LED is the output so um, we tweaked that a bit and um, yeah you can see uh, now the scope shot and it's already charging a bit up this normal battery. You should better use a nickel uh, metal hydride battery for this, not a standard battery. But yeah, I have some uh, in, yeah. the, in the shed. Okay, okay. But, uh, for now, I'm just using that one. Okay, yeah. great. So this was a quick visit uh, to our friend over here in Sweden, and uh, yeah. We say goodbye yeah. now. Peace. Bye bye. <laughs>